Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is March the 11th, 2018, and this is our daily cryptocurrency market analysis where we are giving you the news according to the charts before it happens. We're here to analyze and predict forecasts where some of these major cryptocurrencies are likely to be headed over the next trading day. And as you guys can possibly tell from our video yesterday, we said that we were entering another stage of consolidation. So right now we're just standing on the sidelines to check to see whether or not we're going to get more precursors of strength or more precursors of weakness to continue the market going to the downside. So if you guys have been watching the market for today, obviously you guys can tell that we're getting more precursors of strength and that is just more continuation that needs to be added to that precursors of strength bar that we saw two days ago. So um, overwhelmingly, uh, the strength is is winning the battle if you guys want to put it that way they are definitely trying to maintain these cryptocurrencies on or above that support area that you guys can see on the daily price charts okay so I'll get into that more once we get into these uh, cryptocurrencies and you guys will see what exactly I am talking about or what I am referring to so now the cryptocurrency market cap is still there around the upper 300s, 389.8 billion dollars. Uh, Bitcoin is having a fantastic day on today, 7.62. They are up. Ethereum as well is up 4.38. Ripple is up almost 4%. Bitcoin Cash is having a fantastic day, up almost 11%. Litecoin is up five and a half. Neo is up five percent. Cardano is up eight. Uh, Stellar is up 3.31. So overall, the majority of the cryptocurrencies in today's trading is trending higher. Even after we had that precursor of weakness day yesterday, it's telling us that the buyers are definitely trying to keep control of the market as we go into the next week. Please make sure that we need to continue to see precursors of strength to be revealed on these charts because if we don't then the continuation to the downside will resume another announcement i want to make to you all is that tomorrow make sure you leave me your comments once again because we will be picking a different altcoin to do in our analysis so starting tomorrow please leave your comment in the comment section of the video and whichever altcoin gets the most comments will be the cryptocurrency that we will be doing our analysis for starting this week so now let's go ahead and get into it so now we're looking at bitcoin bitcoin is up 8.63 percent last trade was nine thousand five hundred fifty one dollars and eighty cents daily price chart is giving us another Precursors of strength bar today on top of that weakness we saw yesterday is just simply telling us that the market is definitely stronger than it is weak. Okay, so at best, we're still expecting the consolidation to occur in Bitcoin. I told you all two days ago that the market needs to stay above $9,000. It dipped below $9,000 yesterday, but obviously the market participants are more eager in keeping price above $9,000 than not. So that is the support area for Bitcoin, $9,000. As long as Bitcoin consolidates and stays above $9,000, then consolidation will resume or you might even move a little bit higher back up towards $10,000. So even on the daily price chart, you guys can see that the market came all the way up to $97.29 in today's trading. So it was almost so it almost came to $10,000 today. So now we're looking at the three hour bars for Bitcoin. Uh, obviously, we got this push to go up bar on this three hour bar. Weaknesses came into the market. So the market at best is going to continue to consolidate. Ninety four hundred dollars needs to hold as support in or around ninety four hundred dollars. I'm just giving you a nice round figure. Ninety four hundred dollars is acting as support. So Bitcoin, as it moves to the downside, needs to hold support at ninety four hundred dollars. If not, it will come back down to ninety two. OK. Let's take a look at the one hour bar for Bitcoin. So again, we're getting weakness in the market for Bitcoin. So obviously we just need to wait until we find an area of support 
market is trading around a likely area of support so hopefully it can hold around ninety five hundred dollars but if not then the next logical area is going to be ninety four hundred so those are two support areas and we need to see bitcoin hold in order for them to consolidate and move back to the upside if not then the market will continue to move lower okay so in the short term we're still looking for bitcoin to move lower hopefully it has already touched support okay because if so then the market will bounce and move higher but given the fact that on this current one hour bar let's see we have about 22 more minutes left before this one hour bar completes so if the market continues to close lower than the previous low then we do run the probability of moving past ninety five hundred dollars and if so expected to come back down to ninety four it tried on this particular bar but then the market was able to bring back up towards the high got market weakness still so until we absorb all of this weakness in the market expect the market for bitcoin to continue to move lower So next we're going to look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is up 4.97%. Last trade was $718.02. Daily price chart. Obviously buyers are in the market, which is pretty good because out of the three days we have had two precursors of strength bars, which is excellent in order for Ethereum to consolidate and stop the move from moving lower told you all that 650 need to hold that support so far so good so expect that consolidation to continue um consolidation is at 650 as support resistance is there up 750 dollars market try today went all the way up to 735 so obviously if we get more strength in today's bar the market for ethereum can definitely come back up to around 786 dollars throughout tomorrow's trading okay it might even come up to eight hundred dollars in tomorrow's trading. So now we're looking at the three hour bar. Seven hundred forty dollars held as support and here in the background. I mean held as resistance in the background. Market tried to clip that here on this particular three hour bar. More stockpile obviously is coming into the market. So we're looking for support right now in Ethereum as well. Just like with Bitcoin, support can come around seven hundred and ten dollars. Or might just come back down to this particular low that is our initial support area obviously it could go lower than that if so seven hundred dollars would be the next support area that we would be paying attention to okay so given the fact that the market did not respond to moving higher off of this precursors of strength bar then the market is giving us an at least in the short term sideways to moving lower action in the short term okay so expect that to occur and then once we get more precursors of strength, expect the theorem to continue to move to the upside. But as of now, expect the market to move a little bit lower. So now we're going to look at Bitcoin Cash. So Bitcoin Cash is up 11.39%. Last trade was $1,111.60 daily price chart obviously buyers are in the market we are getting some slight hints of stockpile coming in currently but the excessive volume that we see today compared to yesterday is telling us that interest at least in consolidation is there consolidation simply means between a thousand all the way back up to and around twelve hundred dollars okay so now let's look at the three hour bars So just like with Ethereum and Bitcoin, the market did give us a precursor of strength bar on this three hour bar, but the market did not confirm the interest in higher prices. So at best expect Bitcoin Cash to continue to trade sideways to lower uh, support can be around 1080. So the market for Bitcoin Cash can definitely come back down to 1080. Uh, as I zoom in, you guys can see how much volume came in on this particular bar. So obviously on that three hour bar a lot more sellers came into the market especially this three hour bar closes lower expect bitcoin cash to continue to move lower so looking at the one hour bar again we're not getting that much interest in higher prices stockpile is definitely here around 1140 to 1160 so we will need to get a precursor of strength bar in order to break through that until then expect sideways 
trading action as well as moving to the downside so that's going to be our analysis for bitcoin cash it might not move that low though okay so you have to be cautious right there around areas of support to where probable areas for bitcoin cash to hold so next on the list is going to be ripple So Ripple is up 5.21%. Last trade was 81 cents, almost 82. Daily price chart for Ripple, again, consolidation is occurring on the daily price chart. We are expecting that. We are getting another precursors of strength bar on today's price bar. So uh, the market for Ripple can definitely move to the upside in tomorrow's trading. Three hour bars. Again, market definitely runs a probability coming back up to 84 cents but we had to absolve all of the stockpile that is occurring right now in the market so at best we're looking for consolidation to occur market needs to hold support as ripple moves lower at 80 cents if that's going to occur then we run a higher probability of coming back up to 84 cents in tomorrow's trading but if it breaks 80 cents then the market runs a higher probability of moving lower so right now just stay on the sideline and see what's going to occur on these three hour bars can tell you that the, the stockpile in the market the sellers are definitely trying to keep ripple ripple from moving up to 84 cents at least in the short term that is what is occurring right now so now let's look at litecoin So Litecoin is up 5.59% last trade, $187.20. So obviously on the daily price chart, you guys can see stockpiles coming in the market off of the weakness that we saw yesterday, off of the precursors of strength we saw the day before. So the market simply is consolidating right now. Uh, consolidation is $170 as support, $200 as resistance. So the market can definitely bounce in between those two price areas for quite some time three hour bars for litecoin market was able to come all the way up to 192 dollars twice on the three hour bars but then we got more precursors of weakness to be revealed so that's why the market for litecoin is continuing to move lower so we expect the market for litecoin to move lower in the short term meaning for like the next three to six to nine hours back down to 184 dollars cat support and then move higher from there but right now we're not getting a lot of interest in higher prices so the analysis in the short term is for them to continue to move lower and once the market finds support from there then it will bounce to the upside so now dash is up 11.39 percent last trade was 533 dollars and 54 cents a push to gold bar is being reflected today on the daily price chart with stockpile on it so sellers are definitely in the market because DAS was able to come all the way back up to $560 so looking at the three hour chart we did get a precursors of strength bar to be revealed here we're not getting any follow through so expect DAS to continue to the downside especially in the short term market needs to hold support at $530 though in order for them to at least move higher from where it's currently is trading now but given the fact that we got this precursors of weakness bar and non-interest in higher prices it's telling us that we're seeing more weakness than strength right now in the market for dash okay depending on what this three hour bar closes as can tell us whether or not the market is going to move lower but right now, given the fact that it tried to move higher to 550 and it's all the way back down to 533, it's telling us that we're lacking interest in higher prices right now. So now let's take a look at NEO. So NEO was up 5.57%. Last trade was $89.99. So all of these altcoins today that we're doing our analysis for is looking pretty much the same. Buyers are coming into the market just to bring the price back up to where it was the previous day open. Okay, so obviously we're not out the woods. Consolidation is still running a higher probability in tomorrow's trading. 
for that for neo that could simply mean they could come all the way up to hundred dollars in tomorrow's trading as resistance or it could come all the way back down to eighty dollars as well so that's just that consolidation that we're looking at in neo for tomorrow's trading we are getting the precursors of strength so the market can come back up to hundred dollars in tomorrow's trading before it gets inundated with more stockpile okay but first it has to overcome ninety two dollars as resistance and currently it's not being successful we're still getting weakness in the market for neo market is expected to move lower but we're not expecting it to move that low might come back down to eighty seven dollars and fifty cents to grab support and then move higher from there but definitely be noticing that we are getting weakness on the three hour chart for neo one hour chart again you guys can see here in the background we had a lot of action a lot of business transaction occurring here market tried again to get some more transactions but obviously more stockpile came in so we're moving lower okay so market held support here on this one hour bar at $89 for support now the market is still giving us non interest in higher prices so $89 needs to hold that support once again if it doesn't it will be moving lower okay so we are getting weakness in NEO at this point in time so now let's take a look at Monero so Monero is up 9.35 percent last trade was $279.99 daily price chart for Monero is simply another precursors of strength bar early out in trading the market moved lower all the way back down to 240 to where two days ago it held support today it held support once again so that is pretty good to see Monero hold support at $240 market tried to give us a precursor weakness yesterday but obviously the buyers are still there in the market but we're not out the woods so we're still expecting consolidation to occur for Monero as well so expect Monero to possibly come back up to $290 in the short term we got a lot of volume on this particular bar and this three hour bar that's currently is forming closes below then this is all selling that occurred market definitely runs a higher probability of moving lower back down to $270 272 273 in around that price okay that will be the initial support area anything lower than that then Monero can definitely come back down to 260 okay so just pay attention 265 okay so if Monero cannot hold right there around 271 then expect the market to come to 265 So now the last one for today is going to be Ethereum Classic. So Ethereum Classic is up 3.83%. Last trade was $21.43. Daily price chart again, support held at $20. That's what we needed to see, at least to expect consolidation to continue. Okay, so that's going to be our analysis for Ethereum Classic as well as expect the consolidation to occur. $22 is, is a key area of resistance that Ethereum Classic would have to break through, meaning that we, we need to get precursors of strength bars or a push to go a bar to break through that $22 area. If we get more volume in tomorrow's trading, then that's definitely a highly probable thing to occur. Three hour bar for Ethereum Classic, guys can see that we're simply consolidating still. Good that the market held $20. Now the market. It's coming back up to test that resistance area of around $22 or even $23 in tomorrow's trading. Okay, so that's what we're expecting to see in Ethereum Classic in tomorrow's trading for them to continue to move higher, but just to come back up to $22.50 to around $23. And then from there, we need to analyze to see whether or not we get more stockpile or not. So that's all I have for today, March the 11th, 2018. A recap of what we just saw on the charts for today. Market is giving us another precursor of strength bar on the daily price chart, as well as on the three hour bars, we're getting weakness. Okay, so those are two different things. But on the daily price chart, stockpile is still being reflected on some of these bars. So we're still expecting consolidation to occur. We gave you those support and resistance areas for these, resi for these altcoins. So just pay attention to that in tomorrow's trading though the market can definitely come back up to those prior area resistance and try it again if we get more stockpile then it will move back down to that support area on these altcoins 
okay three hour bars for getting precursors of weakness right now so the market may move a little bit more to the downside before it catches support and then moves back to the upside so you have to be watchful for that as well we have noticed that again in the cryptocurrency space okay so the market just stay within that range we might be in there for a couple of more days just one more day we will tell you all once the change occurs okay so that's what we're noticing on the charts for today that's all i have for today make sure you stay profitable and i will talk to you all later